dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your it's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. Yes! Up my horse, I'm now riding to the city. And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. Well, I walk into the room. All righty, folks. We're walking under 62 degrees on the high today with a few sprinkles, possibly early. But anyway, 37 on the low tonight. 37, that's pretty close to 32. It's getting into winter time. I know everybody's excited about it, but not me. Not me. You don't like the change of the season? I like they just change. skip. You right just want it to stay just hot. Yeah. Just hot all the time. You need to move to Florida. No, I don't. Florida. Too much sand down South there. South Georgia. Too much sand down there. But anyway. Always a complaint. No, we got the election today. Okay, we got yep. to, in Hayesville. I mean, in North Carolina. You've got, well, I don't know what's going on. I know, you know, Harry's retiring and they've got, I don't think he's got the content. The person coming in is not, doesn't have a contender. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. Well, but uh, same in Murphy. Uh, Tim Radford is uh, running for mayor, but he does not have anybody. There's someone on the ballot, but they pulled out of the election. So he doesn't have any competition. However, Mayor Reed has a couple that are. Oh, so Reed. James. We, we love James Reed. <laughs> He's my buddy. I do. I ain't kidding you, man. I think he's got a good heart. There ain't no doubt. Yeah, well, he's got a couple of folks running against him, and then town council's got a couple of contenders in Murphy, so right. we'll see what happens. All right. When will we know? Tomorrow. Breaking news tonight. <laughs> Are you going to go stand at the I'll polls? I'll tweet. I'll tweet it. <laughs> do you know how to tweet? No. I've actually got a tweet account, but a tweet. I talk too much for tweeting. You're only allowed so many characters. So... <laughs> But anyway, how about some birthdays? Do you hear your name on the birthday list? Give us a call, 706-379-9770. And we have got tickets to the wonderful Brasstown Valley Resort. You can play golf or ride horses. Love that place over there. And uh, you will, too, no doubt about it. Bill Lauk, Wild Bill. Wild Bill Lauk, man. Happy birthday to you, man. I've known Bill a long time. If y'all reckon, I'll tell you who he is where y'all know. If y'all see a guy riding in a Harley with great big bullhorns on his helmet, that be Wild Bill. <laughs> Totally harmless, but anyway, he looks like it. You know, he looks like the biker dude. The Viking. Stephen Harper, happy birthday. Ma- uh, Mary Apparel Maddox, happy birthday to you. Uh, Kenny Sutton's got a birthday today. Uh, Brooke Ann Kennard, happy birthday to you. Uh, Carl Grambo, I changed my name from Gram. It's G-R-A-M-B-O to Ram. I just dropped the G. Make it Rambo. Rambo. First blood. I like Rambo. Uh, Alex, uh, Alex Pierce, happy birthday. John Russell. Uh, Doug Kelly's got a birthday today. Lori Anderson, uh, Whitney Sampson. Oh, wait a minute. Clay Logan. Man, our buddy oh. Clay Logan. Happy birthday to or you, man. How about that? On election day. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday to Clay on election day. You can't go wrong with that. And if y'all don't know Clay, he's actually the one that run my music career when we did the... Uh, <laughs> You did that. The possum drop. You made that choice. Yeah, the last possum <laughs> drop. Yeah, needless to say, I had a huge crowd at, at my next show, but it was all the uh, PETA protesters. You know, you got to think about with that. With their signs. Your your show put the possum drop out of commission. Oh right? Lord, so I was it the possum it's or was fair. it Steven? It's fair. And Chris Adams, happy birthday to Chris Adams, man. What an entertainer he is. What y'all got? I've got Sonia and Joey Reed, so one of them has a birthday. Of course, I also have Clay Logan. I wanted to holler also to Andy Zeman, the guy that brings us the bacon once in a while. Oh. He had a birthday on Halloween, and that's appropriate that Andy's a Halloween baby. I think I think I still owe him 20 bucks. <laughs> I think you do. Well, I think you owe me 20 bucks. I owe you $20. I'll sure. pay you. <laughs> I've heard I'm, that for I'm good for you. about 18 months now. I've got good credit. I owe everybody in town, so don't <laughs> worry about that. Do you know any of the famous people at all? Uh, Nellie. There you go. Nellie? How about James Polk? There's somebody. I know some of these people. He's the president. He was the U.S. He president. He was at one time. Yeah, nobody really that you know that I know. I, so. I know Daniel Boone. 
There you go. Daniel Boone. Now, there's somebody you can get. Alamo. Alamo. I'm going to go out to Texas. I don't see both of them. I don't see both Alamos. I don't see them both. Both the Alamos? Yeah. Where's the second one? They're in Texas somewhere. Well, the one I know of is in San Antonio. Right. Which, where's the one you're talking about? I don't know. I have to Google it. There's two. There are. I'm going to check it out. I'm unaware of there that. to see the Marie Alpha Marie Antoinette. Birthday Let today. them eat cake. She did not say that. Let them eat cake. That, that was fake news. Guillotine. Fake news. She never said let them eat cake. What are you talking about? Marie Antoinette. She had birthday her birthday head today. cut off. She was yeah. queen of France. She and was, she said let them eat cake? No, she didn't say let them eat cake. So what's the scoop with that? You got to People me. think that they, she said that, but that was fake news. So that's what she's remembered for saying, let them eat cake? Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly. That's that's the like the guy yesterday that got na- his named after his bathroom named after him. She I mean. was the last queen of the French Revolution, and she was decapitated. And she's known for saying, "Let them eat cake." Exactly. I mean, wouldn't you rather be known for something like, "Here, hold my beer"? You know what I mean? <laughs> I am known for that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold my beer. That's a, that's she was execu- let them eat cake. She was executed for high treason. Just high. because she said, "Let them eat cake." <laughs> Apparently, she didn't actually say that, but that was something that. What's the story behind them? Let them eat cake. I don't know. People were starving. Yeah, and they didn't have. I guess it was bread or you know something. Well, like Well, they were also and just like, being. Well, she just said, "Well, let if they don't have bread, let them eat cake." Oh, but she didn't say that. She didn't say that. But if she had said that, she might still be with us today. I mean, it would have been kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, we're starving. Here, That's hold really beer. <laughs> I think that the monarchy was actually feeding the people rotten food too, weren't they? I mean, like leftover rotten food. So, well, pretty, pretty bad. Situation. That's kind of what happens when you let the government take control of you. And, there, and you they know? had a revolution. Yeah, I'm talking about a revolution. <laughs> yeah, when the government takes care of you, they feed you well. Ain't that kind of where this comes from, stemming from? Yeah. Ooh, today today is National Deviled Egg. Do you like deviled eggs? I love them, but mm. I do not understand why you take deviled eggs to a church function it just don't seem like it should fit what about devil's food cake that too it should be maybe something else stuffed eggs or something but you know you don't take the devil to church you go to church to get rid of the devil and i do get rid of the devil eggs no doubt <laughs> take it personal it's a personal got that little sprinkle stuff on top yeah. of it i don't know what that is that's paprika usually now i put hungarian paprika on mine because Ooh. it's spicy I don't know what does paprika even taste like. I mean, well, paprika is actually a, a basically a cousin of cayenne, mm-hmm. so it's a very mild form of cayenne pepper. I say put some cayenne on it. Ohio Day. What's Ohio known for? Let them eat cake. They ain't even got no cows in Ohio. Where they got in Ohio? Rivers. Where they got taters at? Idaho. Idaho. We got it. rivers in Ohio. Mm-hmm. Wow. Broadcast <laughs> Traffic Professionals Day. Any idea what that is? Traffic Directors Day. What is that? I don't know. You probably need some traffic direction. I'm seeing you're driving. Mine says National Broadcast Traffic Professional Day. Well, yours is probably wrong. Oh, I don't like everything else. <laughs> you know, I was up there. You know, I drive a bus and I drop the kids off up there. And, you know, they got the, the deputies up there directing traffic. And it was so dark this morning. And the lights, I, I, I couldn't. I felt sorry for the little man out there. If it wasn't for his little flashlight, you know. And foggy. Yeah. I'm not seeing it this foggy for this long. I mean, yeah. this is we've had over a month of just almost every morning fog. Heavy yeah. Fog. Y'all be careful up there. And no headlights on people's cars. I got them all over mine. <laughs> You get those flashing yellow ones. Hey, 1955, Jim Henson's The Muppet. The first Muppet was made. And who was it, Sherry? Who was First what? Muppet. The first Muppet? Yeah. Kermit the Frog. Yeah. 1955, yeah. Kermit the Frog. Was it ain't easy body. being green. My aunt had a personal vendetta against Miss Piggy. Why? <laughs> when I was a kid, she lived in Buckhead area. It's a really weird thing to hate. I you know. know. So <laughs> I'm a. We would go stay with her occasionally, and one of the shows we liked. Remember the Muppets with the old men up in the balcony, and we yeah, love we, right we, we love that show. We and got, actually aunt, got them on the show before us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, my aunt would come here. in the living room and make us turn it off because she hated Miss Piggy so much. Yeah. Said she was vain, and I said, Aunt Miriam, she's she's a puppet. I love Miss Piggy. So does Kermit. <laughs> Kermit loves Miss oh, Piggy. Oh, Kermit. My favorite one's the garbage man, dude. What's his name? That's Sesame <laughs> Street. That's Sesame Street. Oh, is that right? Sesame Street? What's but that his... was Henson as well. He did a lot of the. Didn't he do all the? That was Oscar, right? What was his name? He did, the drummer. He did the drums. He animal. Oscar. Yeah, animal. animal. Yeah, I love animal. The, uh, the drum battle with Buddy I remember, Rich. Was it in Doctor Teeth? He had the band and Animals, the drummer, and yeah, those are cute. 
Not anymore. They've gone all this woke nonsense. But anyway, I think didn't Dang, Jim Henson pull the pin? Tubbies. He's been dead since the nineties, mid nineties. Yeah, yeah, I think he pulled the pin. I think he had cancer or something. Yeah. Some kind of situation. I do like Paul Kermit. The he frog, was pretty amazing, heart. though. Pretty big genius there. We got to get to a break, folks. Today is what is today? Tuesday. Or today what? is Young Harris Water Sports and RB. <laughs> Need to get those boats winterized. Winter's here, folks. Winter's and actually time changes this weekend. So get over there and get those boats or watercraft winterized so you'll be able yep. to use them next spring. They also carry a full line of RV products and our uh, they've got RVs and RV parts. So go check out Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Give them a call at 706-896-0834. <laughs> And with even more news for Western North Carolina and North Georgia, I'm Jeff Batten. It's Municipal Election Day in Georgia and North Carolina. The races in Hiawassee, Young Harris, Blairsville, Hayesville, and Murphy are uncontested. But Andrews and Blue Ridge have multiple candidates for mayor and council. The town of Andrews, in particular, has been in the news a lot this year under incumbent Mayor James Reed, who may be vulnerable. We've got everything kind of settled down, and I'd like to see the attitude of keeping peace in the valley, and and that's all, you know, I'm not going to badmouth any opponent. I wish them well, but I've done my due diligence. I've got the, the things in place to where Andrews can continue to move forward and, uh, and be a great town that I know we can be. There is also a three-way race in a special election for Betty Easter's unexpired term on the Blairsville City Council, and there's a package sale of liquor reference in Hiawassee, plus the T-Splost referendum in Union County. Joe Slayton is running unopposed for Hayesville's next mayor. The way he sees it, the town is probably too small to pique the interest of a lot of candidates. You know, last election, 36 people voted, so it's just a kind of city government from the back burner here. County governors have more power to affect individuals. You know, there are only like 390 people who live in the town. Tune in tomorrow morning for all the election results. Clay County is reporting its 42nd COVID-19 related death. Our Rob Moore has more details. In yesterday's update, the Clay County Health Department identifies the person who died only as being in their late 50s. Officials stop short of providing any more details due to federal and state privacy laws. Currently, Clay County has two hospitalized coronavirus patients, both unvaccinated, and a total of 12 current active cases. Public health officials remind Clay County residents that flu shot administration has begun for ages six months and up. And it was very likely that heavy fog took the life of Morganton pilot Mike Collins two weeks ago. The National Transportation Safety Board has released a preliminary report on the fatal small plane crash in Blairsville October the 13th. The report says that weather at the time of takeoff was a ceiling of 200 feet overcast with a quarter-mile visibility and fog, and witnesses and first responders reported very heavy fog conditions at the accident site. The airplane struck trees before colliding with terrain on the banks of Lake Notley. For Pat Malone and Rob Moore, I'm Jeff Batten. Nothing shines brighter under the Friday night's heights than a brand new Ford. And no better place to buy than Jackie Jones Ford in Hayesville. Take advantage of models in stock and on the lot at Jackie Jones Ford in Hayesville. From the moment you walk into the showroom, you'll know our commitment to customer service is second to none. Jackie Jones Ford of Hayesville, 1493 Highway 64 West, 828-389-6325 and online at jjfordhaysville.com. <laughs> You know how some people say, but first coffee? You never hear about what comes after, and the after part is pretty important. What you should say is, but first, McDonald's. Because while you have your coffee, you can mix and match select breakfast faves for just $2. Choose a flaky sausage biscuit, sizzling sausage McMuffin, sweet and savory chicken McGriddles, or golden hash browns, and get any two for $2. After that, you're on your own. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. If you've got a nagging sports injury, then Union General Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is ready to get you back on the field. Dr. Jacob Sturton, Dr. Ronald McBeth, and physician assistants Brian Haas and David Zollinger are currently accepting new patients at their office. They can help with everything from a sports injury to knee or shoulder pain. If you want to get back to living and being active, call Union General Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at 706-439-6858.
Fall weather brings pumpkin spice and everything nice. Except stink bugs, mice, spiders, roaches. Well, you get the picture. Keep your fall season picture perfect by relying on the professionals at American Pest Control to keep your home pest free. With over 48 years of experience protecting their neighbors' homes and health, you'll be in good hands with American Pest Control. Visit them on the web at ampest.com. Text or call 706-782-4113 to schedule your free inspection. Hi, this is Dawn Wallace, and I'm here with Kelly with Kelly's Custom Creations. Now, Kelly, you guys do custom t-shirts, but tell our listeners what other kind of custom items you can create. Yes, Dawn, we do any kind of custom printing, like pet accessories, car accessories, drinkware, and more. If you can dream it, we can print it. If you're an individual or a business that needs unique custom printed items, give Kelly with Kelly's Custom Creations a call at 706-455-8532. It's Black Friday Super Savings all month at Eller & Owens Furniture & Mattress. Shop early. Select living rooms 50% off while supplies last. Look for Take Me Home Today tags like Serta iComfort Queen mattresses from $8.99 and adjustable bases from $7.99. Hurry in for hot buys like Lazy Boy recliners from $3.99. Black Friday Super Savings and 0% financing all month long at all four Eller & Owens Furniture & Mattress locations. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, folks, we're back with you, and I know all this stuff's going on with the uh, Let's Go Brandon deal, but I reckon the uh, president's wife is begging everybody to please quit doing that because uh, Biden actually thinks his name's Brandon now. So I shouldn't even <laughs> mention this, but did you see the the shot of him at the, the G2 summit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, did, 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 did. yeah no, we got all that. I know where he's sleeping. Oh yeah, he slept through that too. Yeah, he slept through <laughs> it's it. It's like, gosh. But I he's mean, got a, you know, he's got a hectic. Well, hectic. it is a grueling schedule. I give him that, but it's like, you it's know, it's not a grueling schedule. Trump was up at five o'clock in the morning, rocking all the way well, to like he was midnight. Taking all the good drugs. This let's go Brandon thing has got the far left <laughs> upset. They are bent out of shape that these people are doing this. They're saying that it's like an, it's like a secret code for the right, but. The left come up with it. They actually come up with this, and we're just going with it. So, and I think everybody well, knows. Well, the alternative, what they were actually saying was much more vulgar. Oh, everybody knows what they're saying, and everybody knows what it means. And like I said, the right did not come up with it. The left did, and so they're running with it. But they're awful upset. They're saying it's, uh, I mean, they're actually uh, saying that it's uh, even equal to saying, let's go supporting the assets and all this stuff you know they're getting what? yeah they're getting all bent out of shape but here's the thing okay everybody's doing this and it's all over i mean everybody's got it going on we did not do this i am on the right <laughs> they are on the left they come up with this because they actually during the interview just like any other news broadcast they were trying to tell you what they were actually saying when we know good and well what the real facts right. was they were just trying to cover up the vulgarity yeah and they're saying this is just terrible this is just terrible well they're calling it possibly hate speech i don't hate i don't speech. know you know what i know what hate speech is i heard it from my dad hollering at me when i was a kid mm-hmm. i don't think people know what hate speech is right well let me ask you about what about robert de niro got a standing ovation at the uh, Hollywood crowd back when they were doing the Tony Awards when he uttered out the words on stage. Oh, I know. F that's, Trump. that's the problem. What about that? that I mean, what about it, what Madonna said? What about what tons of them said? She wanted to blow up the White House. Yeah. It's on both sides. When can this ever but, but stop? But why is that okay? And, and this, None of it is okay. I really think everybody's just supporting NASCAR myself. We had the incident <laughs> on Southwest Airlines where the, the pilot actually said, you know, the last thing he said is, go Let's go by uh, Brandon right before he took off the plane. One of the reporters is actually doing a story on this, upset to no end, totally upset to no end, tried to storm the cockpit, and they kicked her off the plane. And she's mad. She's mad because they kicked her off the plane. I'm okay with any of it. Uh, Like, it's freedom of speech up to a certain point, but just don't get mad. Don't be a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's... Well, they come up with it, not me. I'm just, I'm saying the whole thing. I mean, if it's going to go both ways, just don't be a hypocrite about it. If you can dish it out. If you can dish it out, you got to take it. Yeah, but the funny thing about this is, this is actually this is actually the way everybody feels. They all when support did, NASCAR. When did everybody get so sensitive? Where was I at? Apparently. Are you kidding? When? Why? I mean, it's been coming, but I think it's fixing to start going. 
But I mean, ever, haven't you ever worked at a job where y'all just kind of picked at each other to pass the time? Not and me. The- I get my feelings hurt. I'd pout. Wouldn't talk to nobody. <laughs> Well, is that why you don't talk to me? I can dish anymore? it out, but I can't take it. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Well, but I, I know that. <laughs> That's how I'm cool with it. You know? No, I mean, seriously, though. You know, we've all, you can't say anything to anybody anymore. Yes, you can. Because I don't gonna, care. I'm going to quit talking. I really, I mean, honestly, some people think that they're worried. I don't care. I don't want to hang around people like that. I don't. That ain't the people I want to roll with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd rather hang out with people that can dish it out and take it and cut up and go on and realize. That's what I'm talking about. Job, you know, I worked in an OR for eight years and it was a stressful, stressful place to work in many ways. I loved it. But part of the way stress got alleviated was we kind of picked at each other. Mm -hmm. Nobody got their feelings hurt. Right. I don't know. It's a different world now but we'll see what's dr rodriguez on. i think you've cut off the wrong leg you know stuff like that mm-hmm. oh but he actually <laughs> did though that was not a joke <laughs> at the time one that was back when two, he was a chiropractor three, or whatever four, what was he a, five, a horse nurse or something <laughs> seven eight no it was a donkey donkey nurse nine, i would say the other word but i don't want to get in trouble with the uh, i don't know but the i'm thinking they said this, this pilot's <laughs> actually under an investigation why would they be under an investigation i mean what the heck is that well, under, he's under investigation. What does that mean? Everybody's under investigation. I mean, he sat up there. He said, let's go, Brandon, and took off. What's to You're investigate? <laughs> Just be, I mean, we, that, well, that's the, the exact thing we've talked to. How many comedians that really feel like their hands are tied? You know, the, all the interviews, some have been comedians that really feel like their hands are tied. What is it? What is it? Because you said? can't look at David Chappelle. They're hammering him now. Yeah. They're hammering him now. You can't say anything. It's elementary, my dear. Who said that? Ain't Watson. That? Watson. Sherlock Holmes said that. Yeah, it's elementary. It's just elementary. So did Frank Sinatra. Frank it's Sinatra said elementary. that? Elementary. Yeah. yeah. Love and marriage. Yeah, he's going to change the name <laughs> Chicago. Come back. Anyway. You know, we actually talking about more stuff going on. We have got Mark Anthony, which is a professional stunt man he has done stunts all over the world for all kinds of different movies and he actually does a stunt class so you can learn how to be a stunt man without getting killed but uh you know we got all this stuff going on with alec ball and we need to we need to find out about that he knows you do think he's going to get in some trouble over that i mean he's a producer on the film and there's some I don't li- think there's so. liability there. i don't think so now if it had been me or somebody else <laughs> like that we'd done been under he'd the be jail. under the bus yeah we'd yeah. be on the bus let's go ahead and get to a short break get mark on to call like i said he is a uh, professional stunt man he has got his own stunt company and they can that's pretty cool you can actually go because you know got firefighter school they teach you how to do firefighting you know it's like this is the water that's the fire let's teach you to do a stunt i can do i've done all kinds of stunts (laughs) i didn't get paid for it this guy gets paid for it that's what's i didn't realize back when growing up that you could actually get paid jump that bridge yeah we can do that (laughs) of course we never actually do it we just get like halfway across Uh... but it's all fun Hey, folks, you need to go to YHWaterSports.com and check out everything they've got over at Young Harris Water Sports and RV. Not only are they carrying a full line of boats and watercraft, they now carry RVs. They carry RV parts. They can do repairs right there. You can go check them out again, like I said, at YHWaterSports.com or call them. Set up an appointment, 706-896-0834. Young Harris Water Sports and RV, now offering Cedar Creek, Fifth Wheels, and Cottage Park model. Salem Travel Trailers, Fifth Wheels, Toy Haulers, and Destination Trailers. Ask about RV mobile service and a large selection of RV parts and accessories. With Young Harris Water Sports and RV's lineup and the best selection of watercraft in North Georgia, there's no need to leave the mountains. Young Harris Water Sports and RV at 3676 Highway 76. Online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! Stressing over Medicare or confused about your choices? Medicare open enrollment season is now in full swing, and Pat Pratt is here to help. And since helping seniors with Medicare and Medicare supplement insurance is her only service, Pat's ready to get to work for you. If you're in Georgia or North Carolina, call Pat Pratt at 828-837-8179. That's Pat Pratt for Medicare questions, 828-837-8179, because helping seniors with Medicare is all she does. Craving a Bayou feast? Savor New Orleans flavor at Carlotta's in Hayesville. Serving up po' boys, hot dogs, mufalettas, and boudin balls from Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 7. The market is open, too, featuring specialty meats, cheeses, and other food items like jams and jellies, coffees and teas, kitchen items, and gift items. And, of course, the shaved ice snowballs are still a Carlotta's trademark. So rediscover Carlotta's near Highway 69 and 64 in Hayesville. Bon appetit, y'all. 
Has your doctor ordered an x-ray, ultrasound, CT, or MRI? Would you like it performed more efficiently and less expensive than anywhere else in town? Then come over to Hillcrest Imaging in Blairsville. Either call or drop by and we will request an order from your physician and arrange everything. Our facility is fully accredited and takes most insurances. Come by and visit us at 15 Ernest Street in Blairsville or call us at 706-745-8790. You will be glad you did. Are you looking to sell your home and aren't quite sure where to begin? You're not alone, but we are here to help. I'm Bill Daves. And I'm Cindy Daves with Remax Town & Country. We have nearly 20 years' experience assisting clients with buying and selling homes in North Georgia and Western North Carolina. If you're ready to take that next step, count on Bill and Cindy Daves with Remax Town & Country, 828-361-9419. That number again is 828-361-9419. Or visit us online at teamdaves.com. It's Black Friday Super Savings all month at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Shop early. Select living rooms 50% off while supplies last. Look for Take Me Home Today tags like Serta iComfort Queen mattresses from $8.99 and adjustable bases from $7.99. Hurry in for hot buys like Lazy Boy recliners from $3.99. Black Friday Super Savings and 0% financing all month long at all four Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress locations. The Morning Dish. Young Harris Water Sports says it may be Tuesday, but on the lake, every day's the weekend. Young Harris Water Sports is ranked number one in customer service and boasts the number one full marine service department in the mountain area. So make it the best Tuesday ever at Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, folks, we're back with you, and we have got a professional stunt man. Actually, he's been in it for years and years. Uh, Mr. Mark Anthony, how are you, brother? Hey, buddy. I'm doing great. How you doing? Man, we are doing, we're wide open, man. I guarantee you. We've just been making fun of everybody, and probably this will be our last show because we're doing that, but we're still having a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I love it. I was listening to you guys. I'm just, I feel the same way. There you go. So how's everything been going in the stunt world? Sound like you're still alive? You ain't broke any bones since the last time we talked? Oh, no. Things are great. I mean, even even with the whole situation with Alec Baldwin, I mean, it's it kind of puts a black eye on the on the film industry, but yeah, things are good. So th- that's one of the th- reasons we won't talk to you because you actually are a professional stunt man. You've got it. The uh, extreme force is where you actually teach people how to do stunts, which is very exactly. cool. But how do you think this actually happened? I mean, do you think this was? Tell us. I mean, honestly, you're in the you're in the you're in the stunt business. You're fixing to shoot somebody with a gun. What is, what is the protocol y'all go through? Well. Every set's a little different, but they should go through the same procedures. Um, from what I understand, um, you know, Alec Baldwin is the producer, and it's a low budget. Fi- it's a low budget film they're doing, and if it was a SAG film, then you're required to have the insurance company would actually check your credentials to make sure that the stunt coordinator, which that's what I do, I'm a stunt coordinator, right. knows what he's doing. He, he has an armor or a prop master that would handle the gun, the prop master or armor or stunt coordinator will make sure there's never an excuse to have a live round on a film set ever. Exactly. Why yeah. was it there? What what reasoning could there be for live ammunition to be on that set? No, there is none. There's not one logical reason. But from what I was told, and don't quote me on this because I don't know 100%, but some people I know that were there, they said that they were shooting guns in between – uh, days and like shooting target practice and shooting uh, cans and bottles and that should never happen that yeah. is like a, a, a huge no-no so live ammunition probably got got pinned up with some of the the blanks and if you know what you're doing you can tell the difference between live ammunition and a blank that was my next and, question can't you tell the oh difference Lord, yeah. yes well sometimes the longer ones were like they use for uh, revolver guns they look really close to a, a real bullet. Now, if you're using the short rounds, the, the, the short rounds don't, uh, uh, the length of the, the blanks aren't as long as the actual bullet. Right. And they have color on them. Sometimes they're green or red or orange. So you can tell they're blanks. But some of the longer shaft blanks actually just have the ends of them crimped. Yeah. So when, when the blank goes off, it shoots out like a, a, a small, very small shrapnel. That's why you never shoot a blank at close range. You can still hurt somebody or right. kill somebody. Well, it's got like cotton but, or, or, or uh, wax or something in it, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So so the ends are crimped. 
and it looks like a real bullet, the longer one, longer shaft mm -hmm. they use for revolvers. And that that particular gun that they shot was a revolver gun for the Western movie. Yeah. And you should have been able to tell. I mean, if they took their time and, and actually did procedures, walked through, opened up the gun, showed the bullets, each bullet to the, to to everybody. They make, what I do is if I go on set, I make an announcement. I hold the gun up in the air and I show them. I open up the gun and show them. I take the bullets out. Mm -hmm. I will show them each round as I put them in there and I walk around. If anybody has any questions, I'm like, if they want to see it. I let anybody see it that's on set so they can feel safe. Well, I know and one thing. I, if they're going to shoot at me. I definitely want to check that gun out. I'm just going to tell you the well, dang truth. You I know? have a question, well, though. If Not to sound like conspiracy, but it sounds like a lot of the crew and stuff were kind of disgruntled. Is there any chance this wasn't an accident, do you think? Um, I don't know. That's, that, that's, I've, been, I've been asked that question because the guy that was supposed to be working on this film was also working on the Brandon Lee film, The, the Crow, that he right. got killed at. That's pretty gun. famous film. Well, I, don't, yeah. I don't think I'd want to hire him if he was involved in that one. So let me ask you another question. Exactly. We, we got, uh, how often do they use real guns? That's the thing about it. I mean, nowadays, everything, you know, after the movie, they I guess because it's low budget, everybody gets quiet, but don't they edit and add to pops and guns and explosions and stuff after the film is shot? Yeah, you can do CGI work, but it, it, it's never... And, and if you're good at it, you can make it look pretty decent, right. look real. But still, when you do the real thing, it, mm -hmm. it looks better. I mean, I do. I I use real guns, and it doesn't. I'm never scared. I'm never afraid that anybody's gonna get hurt because I never allow live rounds on set. And we triple check things. We check them like continuously. There's never. If I put one person in charge of the guns. I never have multiple people with those guns, and we never play around. These we take them. Even if it's a fake gun. We treat it like a real gun. So, and, and if it's a rubber gun and it looks real, I take it the same procedure. I show everybody that this is a fake gun. I hold it up and I show everybody the gun and I show them it's fake because I don't want nobody feeling un, un, uncomfortable. Well, you, and, you'd be responsible for this. Folks, I'll say again, we're talking to Mark Anthony, which is the, uh, he is a stunt coordinator. Tra he's got training classes at Extreme Force. Y'all can go to that, streamforce.com, and check out who the guy we're talking to. You'll see him on fire, which is pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> Well, actually, yeah. what he was just talking about. So, Mark, wh where where's the liability fall? I was reading that it could be the producers that could be liable. I mean, even... Uh, Alec Baldwin could be liable on this. Yeah, you know what? Alec Baldwin should be uh, one of them. Right. I think the, the armor and Alec Baldwin should both be held accountable. And reason is because there's negligence there. Yeah. I, that girl that was handling the gun should have never been handling the gun in the first place. And um, I think there was cutting corners to make this movie, and that's the problem. So and. But you got Alec Baldwin. He is anti-gun, anti-gun. I mean, that's all he quit. But then he's doing a movie about guns. What's the scoop? I mean, have you ever worked with Alec? No, I haven't. But I, I used to have a business in, in the L.A. area, so you know, I did see a lot of um, liberal liberal um, uh, actors that were doing action films, but and with guns and were anti-gun, which is kind of hypocritical. They were just doing it to get a paycheck, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they should have a training. If they have proper training, then they, this would never happen. Alex should have checked his weapon before firing. That's that, that's something that actors need to learn how to do because you're the last person to make sure it's safe. Well, you're the final person. You're pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. So you should know how to check your weapon. Yeah. So I mean, I'm with you. And then the liability, the liability definitely should be the producers because, you know, this that's their job. Yeah. You know? But it's low budget cutting corners, which I can see that, you know, which is very sad when it comes to guns. Because anybody that has fooled with guns know that uh, an empty gun is the one that kills you. It's always the empty gun. And uh, right. and that's where you kind of go. But uh, I'll step into they, another thing, man. I mean, you have done a, now. Did you do the uh, you do a lot of different stunts? Uh, what's your favorite? Do you like like jumping cars or crashing through fires? Or what's your favorite stunt to do? I mean, what's the one you like? All right, man, this is my favorite. I'm going to get to do this. Well, I, I actually like doing uh, uh, car stunts. I like like uh, precision driving and, and jumping cars, like blow, explode uh, pyrotechnics. Yeah. So I like cr crashing vehicles and and and. Uh, so does Steven. It, yeah. So but, does Steven. He doesn't get paid though. I'm good, <laughs> I'm good at it. Though. That's funny. I've wrecked like 25 times, walked away every time. So I'm a good driver. 
Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I like I like uh, fight choreography too. I'm doing some fight choreography here in Florida pretty soon for a film. Um, I enjoy that too to make the actor look really um, look you know make him look like John Wick type stuff. You know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But now, you, where's your? You've got this uh, studio that you actually t uh, train people. Where, do you do that all over? Is that a certain place you do that, or how does that work? Well, I have locations. I have location in Austin, Texas, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm opening up one in Arizona, Phoenix. But mm -hmm. also, I'm, I'm here in Florida, looking at uh, Panama City Beach. Right. Open up a location. Oh, Panama, Redneck Riviera, man, that's the place <laughs> to be. <laughs> so now you, down, you know, are you working on a film down there now, or? Um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm about to. I'm, I'm actually heading back to, to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. I got a film, a Western I'm doing with um, uh, Antonio Sabato Jr., uh, Kevin Serbo, Scott Bayo, Tito Ortiz, doing a Western film up there with him uh, next week. And then I come back to Panama City Beach and film up here. That'd be good. So what do y'all, can you tell me what you're filming down in Panama City? Um, it's an action film. It's called Roadkill. Right. Um, it's a, it's, an, it's just gonna, I really can't say a lot about it, but right. Um, it's it's uh, the, the the director of this film and, and the uh, the guys in charge of it, really super awesome guy, a good Christian man. Him and his wife, they're the producers of this film, and uh, he is Mr. Fast. He's awesome and he's got a really good storyline. So you know, once the, once it comes out and and we get the trailer going, I'll send you I'll send you a copy of it so you can check it out. Yeah, I'm excited about that. But now when you say roadkill, man, all my buddies we get hungry. <laughs> we start talking about supper. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Honey, like, guess what's for dinner? Must be a cooking yeah. show. Roadkill. That must well, be a cooking show there. You know what? You know what? You, you said something a while ago uh, about Alec Baldwin. Um, you know, we're talking about car car stuff, right? Right. So if I was driving a car and with three people and we, I get in a car accident and I'm driving, then I'm responsible if those people die, right? I get caught, charged for manslaughter. Yes, right. you do. That's right. So w why is this any different, right? If I mean, you're I... holding the I yeah. actually feel terrible for Alec Baldwin because that must be a horrible position to be in, but you're responsible. You pulled the trigger, and as you said, he did not check his weapon. He but now here's not. the thing about it, though, Mark, and think about this. Now, you've worked with, like, let's just say John Snyder, and you know he is very vocal about his stance on the government right now and where he stands right. as far as being conservative. If this would have happened to John Snyder, where do you think the story would be right now? I mean, Oh, what? man, he'd be crucified. Yeah. He'd be, he'd, he'd be crucified. They'll, 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 they'll use every angle they can it's just what's weird what you guys were talking about earlier it's never the same we don't have the same playing field it's like if you're a conservative or, or a christian or or you don't hang with the left then they they'll come after you like hardcore but if you're on the left then you get you get a pass every once in a while you don't get as uh, you know you don't get the same treatment so yeah definitely john schneider would be hammered if that happened yeah and that's the that's the sad part about the whole thing and the whole thing this comes down to is that this lady lost her life for no reason whatsoever other than just lack of, uh, I won't say lack, just for Care ignorance. Sure ignorance. carelessness yeah. and, and not to, yeah. uh, and very unprofessional behavior. I mean, I back to what you were saying earlier. So they were actually shooting live rounds in between scenes w at cans, bottles, whatever. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I was told. I mean, don't quote me on that. Right. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, but I mean yeah. that would make sense why yeah. there would be live ammunition laying about. So. Yeah, exactly, and that's why some people walked off. I think they said there was. Uh, they had a huge walk off. The mm -hmm. So people walked off that morning. A lot of crew members walked off. Well, they, that's what I'm saying. They had quite a few people walk off the set over a few days. I mean, they were not keeping their end of the deal as far as paying these people and make, giving them a place to stay. They were able to drive an incredible distance to film. So. There were a lot of, that's why it goes back to the disgruntled crew, I wonder. Well, I'd say working with Alex would be about impossible, <laughs> you know, but I mean, honestly. But this is just sad all the way around. But, you know, I, I'm i like you. I mean, if you wreck a car, you are responsible. I mean, it's, uh, and the, I think this, actually him being the producer, and I think there's probably two or three. And then this guy you're saying that was actually the guy that was in charge of the gun. I mean, he's had uh, a pretty bad record over the years. Why were they even using him to begin with? But it uh, makes no sense to me. And, uh, but, uh it doesn't. No, it don't yeah. at all. So anyway, so tell all these folks, man, we're about to get to a break here, how they can get up with you. Now, folks, I'm known Mark uh, here. He's been on a couple of times and he is a great guy. And he, y'all need to go to his, uh, his uh, Facebook page and look at all the car explosions and all the stuff that he's doing. But uh, tell everybody how you can get up with you. Yeah. Go, go to my website at um, you, uh, extreme forest USA. And, you could uh, extreme force with no e. It's X T R E M E. Mm -hmm. Extreme force, uh, USA. 
And you can go there and check out some of our stuff on our website or go to Facebook or Instagram. Instagram's the same thing. Yeah. Extreme Force Hollywood Stunts. And then on Facebook, my, my main page that you can go to and see a lot of really cool film and footage will be Texas Hollywood Stunts and Film. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now looking at all this good stuff. I love it, man. I'm you get down you get down back down there in in uh Florida. That ain't far from me. I'll just ride down there next time you run through or jump something, I'll ride with you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll bring I'll, I'll bring you uh next time I do a live action show, I'll bring you on board and maybe with you. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, I, that's one of the things back when we was growing up, you know, we, we'd always try to scare our buddies, you know, and, and our famous words was, if you can drive it, I can ride it. So. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. And another thing we always said, if the radi- if the radiator will fit, the car will too. So that's where we go with that. But uh, Mark, man, I appreciate you there getting you up. Go. I know you're busy down there, but uh, very interesting life that you got and a lot of cool stuff. So y'all look him up on that. And like I said, Mark, we appreciate you. Appreciate you giving you your opinion on this, and uh, thank you. Yeah, no, no problem. I, I appreciate the time. And just, just let your viewers know, I got two movies coming out. I do, I do act as well. Right. And I got two two films coming out. I played the lead characters in. Okay, what are one's they? called Six? Yeah, one's called Six Wheels from Hell. Right. It comes out in, in, in about a month, and I I to create a hillbilly accent. It's actually really cool. I'll oh, play the oh, wait, let's hear the hillbilly accent. He used you as a model. Let's hear the hillbilly <laughs> accent. Let's see how you got. Oh, man. Come on. All right. Uh, all right, man. So what? Yeah, I, I tell you what now. We, 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 we're we fixing to go downtown. <laughs> I, so I don't know. This I sounds just, like, beautiful. Really this sounds, there, sounds a lot like Steven's beautiful. Hispanic accent. Yeah, I just I have that. to be honest with you. What's right the now? other movie? <laughs> uh, it's called it's, it's called um, Good Time Charlie. It's a killer clown. I pay a kill, killer clown, a uh, bank robber. Uh, and there's this magical trunk, and it has this uh, power with me. And... I want to get out of the gang, so I turn against my own guys, and they, they're trying to kill me. And yeah, so it's a pretty good film. I like it. Well, now where can we see these? A lot of action. Where are they going to be at? Where um. Are... So full, I believe it's called Full Throttle as the one that's pr- pr- uh, um, uh, streaming. Well, getting the movie out there. Right. Um, but yeah, six, if you go, if you go on YouTube, Six right. Wheels from Hell. You can see the, tra- the trailer. Okay. And the movie actually comes out next month. And then Good Time Charlie, we're filming part two right now. Um, the guy's from Dallas, Texas. His name is uh, Paul uh, Streiner. Right. And that one should be coming out to uh, like a, a streaming network as well. It's going to be pretty cool. All right. We'll be looking forward to that, man. I always love it, man. I guarantee it. So we'll be, we'll be keeping up with you. <laughs> Get you back on here and see what's going on. But, uh, man, you be safe out there. Make sure when you do them jumps, you wear your seatbelt. Oh, yeah, yeah. i, I got to make sure I at least have the seatbelt. There you go. <laughs> All right, man. Take and care. And a helmet. <laughs> there you go. And we need to thank Young Harris Water Sports this morning. They have Young Harris Water Sports and RV is loaded with the area's largest selection of wakeboards, wake, surfers, wa- wake surfers, water skis, tubes, kayaks, marine supplies, and much more. Plus, they're carrying a full line of RVs. No matter what your needs are, if it's on the water or on the road, they've got you covered. 706-896-0834. Young Harris Water Sports and RV, now offering the Supreme Surf Boat Line, along with Hurricane Deck Boats, Godfrey Pontoons, Monterey, Chaparral, Bayliner Bow Riders, Low Pontoons, along with both Yamaha and Sea Dew PWCs, and more. Young Harris Water Sports and RV has the area's largest service center, parts, and accessory selection, so there's no need to leave the mountains. Woo-hoo! Young Harris Water Sports and RV at 3676 Highway 76, online at yhmarineandrv.com. Let's go! Today's word of the day, the Japanese word, teppanyaki. Teppan, as in the metal plate on which the food is cooked, and yaki, which means grilled, broiled, or pan-fried. And if you're on the Murphy Highway, put this new education to work at teppanyaki time in Blairsville. Teppanyaki time is a Japanese kitchen where your party will love Executive Chef Kim's fresh rolled sushi, poke bowls, fried rice, and yakisoba noodle bowls. Now open on the Murphy Highway next to Verizon, where it's always teppanyaki time. Man, it's high school and college football season. We just need one thing to make it a great year. Yeah, bed covers. I meant like some wide receivers. And I'm talking about bed covers on your truck so we can tailgate before the game in style. I'd ask you where to get them, but I think you're about to tell me. Rose Auto. Right. And who has the tailgate rack for the grill? Don't say it. I know. Rose Rose Auto. Auto in Blairsville on the Murphy Highway. Rose Auto. Truck accessories for a great season. 
You've saved the date for that big event, a family or class reunion, a wedding, a school event. But have you booked a date yet for rejuvenation? At Sentinel Plastic Surgery, they can erase those lines between your brows, plump the lips and furrows between your nose and mouth. You know, turn that mirror reflection into someone fabulous. It's time to save a date to come in to Sentinel Plastic Surgery. Facial, Botox, fillers? Call 706-439-6486 or sentinelplastic.com. May of 1988, I just graduated from law school, passed the bar exam. I was ready to start a career with the IRS. Then my grandfather had a massive stroke, and our family was looking at nursing homes and trying to figure out a way to pay for it. When my grandmother asked me, am I going to lose everything, I didn't know the answer to that question. Now I do. This is Kevin Tharp, Elder Law and Estate Planning Attorney. I can show you how to afford long-term care without losing everything you own. Log on to KevinTharp.com for the answers. It's Black Friday Super Savings all month at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Shop early. Select living rooms 50% off while supplies last. Look for Take Me Home Today tags like Serta iComfort Queen mattresses from $8.99 and adjustable bases from $7.99. Hurry in for hot buys like Lazy Boy recliners from $3.99. Black Friday Super Savings and 0% financing all month long at all four Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress locations. The Morning Dish. The Tuesday Morning Dish is powered by Young Harris Water Sports. You want to deal with people who love boats? You've come to the right place. From a new covered storage facility to boat consignment services, it's all in one place with Young Harris Water Sports. All righty, folks, we're rolling back in here. We just got through talking to Mark Anthony. Y'all to go check him out, man. He has got some cool stuff that he does. And I, mean, I just think that'd be cool to get to be get paid for stuff that we did just for fun well also the people he knows i mean some pretty cool insights on the incident on you know the alec baldwin movie and packy had something i don't know if he wanted to mention it but he showed me something and made me look it up i guess Nicolas cage had evidently had a problem with that same armor on a previous he stormed off the set right. because she released at different times three rounds of possibly live ammunition on the set that he was working on but she was uh, cheap, so that's why we use she's her. She's like a kid. I mean, yeah. she's in her early 20s. She's I don't know. Great you know, value stunts. I've been around guns my whole <laughs> life. I've never had any. Clover Valley. Clover Valley. Clover Valley, <laughs> Clover Valley Armory. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I don't know, man. I it's just, not funny, though. It's not. This girl lost, lost her, her life. life. A mother, a oh. daughter. I mean, yeah, it's just sad all the way around. But I just, my biggest thing is, is that... Uh, I hope this is not swept under the rug because of uh, Alec Baldwin, and he is just not a good guy. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, you know, Robert De Niro. I can't even stand to watch a movie. Well, with even him all that aside, after all, all that, that he that does, aside, I mean, you know, he just cusses and ramps and raves, and I just think that is so unprofessional. I mean, all that aside, it, that he should be responsible because he was the producer on this movie. I think whoever sh- I think whoever should be responsible for this should be reprimanded. I think they should be done. What should be done and i think reprimanded you killed someone that's what i'm saying whatever the whatever the law says needs to be done i think it ought to be done i think it ought to be handled i'm thinking there'll be a big civil lawsuit here i mean ain't no doubt ain't no doubt and but anyway i mean money ain't gonna bring that girl back no and none of the rest of this stuff is and yeah but just like he said if it had been john snyder because john is on newsmax and the whole nine yards he's always talking about his stance on conservatives and if it had been john that this happened to which you know i actually told john that and he said it wouldn't have happened on my set and he's right because he's been around guns he knows how to handle them he knows how to check uh but they would have crucified him they would have crucified him i mean he'd have been done i mean it'd have been done so when you compare that to you know the, like these shootings that happened like with police officers and things you know these cops they don't get up in the morning they don't wake up and say i want to go kill somebody mm-hmm. today you know but mm-hmm. it's some you know things happen accidents do happen the situations happen people in a situation into car, you do they, not know how you're going to react to a situation until you're in it exactly so like you know situations do happen but if it had been a police officer you mm-hmm. know who killed somebody it would have been this huge uproar but if it's right. Alec Baldwin involved with it then like you're saying it'd just be well but you know uh, you got to think let, about let go this because uh, they, they took what is the cops they took cops off we had the guy with the the dog trainer guy they took his show off because it showed negative impact on certain people of whatever but it's actually reality and i mean it's in reality uh these police officers in these inner cities deal with these drug people that's just buzzed out of their mind carrying guns we had the gal on yesterday talking about her son two of them getting killed i mean i don't understand how that could happen I'm, i'd be gone i mean if i 
if I wouldn't live in a place like that. That's the thing about where we're at now. I can go to any store at any time of the day, night or anything, and I don't even have to worry about getting shot. But you go to these cities, there are certain places you can't go. Because you right. know if you and go, and even in the nicer places, things happen. You have to hold a gun. You carry. I mean, actually, they got pictures all over Facebook of people in these inner cities that's actually got guns. They're holding guns in their hand while they put fuel in their car. I ain't gonna live in a place like that. I ain't gonna do it. And they, I don't think anybody else wants to either. And they think, well, what we need to do is defund the police. Well, that's a good idea. I love that idea. That would be great. Let's, Let's just take all the money away from Get rid of the only people. Give them slingshots. Yeah, give them slingshots. Get rid of the only people that are supposed to be carrying guns over here. I mean, honestly. Yeah. And I would, it's almost like they're trying to mess it up, isn't it? <laughs> but why? What is the, the, I don't know. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Uh, <laughs> Yay, I'm all about NASCAR. <laughs> I'm a NASCAR guy. I love NASCAR. I, I bet that makes him feel good. Brandon's my man. That was the best thing ever happened to him. I guarantee <laughs> you that because he next year, I guarantee it, next year on his car, everybody will want to advertise. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yep. I mean, this is just, a, you know, things work in a funny way. But like I say, they say publicity is good as long as they spell your name right. And he is definitely, everybody in the world knows who this guy is now. You know, it used to be Richard Petty mm -hmm. or Bill Elliott. Now it's Brandon. Now it's Brandon. What's, what's Brandon's last he name? He don't have to have a last name. He just, he's like, you know, he's it's like, Brandon. just like Prince. You know, he don't have to have a last name. Just Brandon. How about that? I'm like Steve, you know Stephen Phillips, the guy that's on the radio. You know he drives a school bus. You know, I wonder the, if we can get him to chant, "Let's go, Stephen." Yeah, it doesn't that really sound ring. like anything. Yeah, that don't ring as good. <laughs> that don't ring as good. But Brandon, man, it's how cool would it be just to have a name? You don't have to have anything else, just a name, Prince, Brandon. Well, Prince had a little more than a name. Prince is it. He went to a sign there my, for my a while, point, my and they point still is, knew who he was. He was kind of famous for his music. But I, I know that, but he didn't have to. He didn't have his whole name. Is like. Just Prince, you know who you're talking about. Right. And like Brandon, you know who you're talking so about. So do we, do we see a day in the future when people think country music and just think Stephen? No. Stephen. It's like Stephen, you know, the guy that, you know, Steven. the fat guy with a funny hat. You know, Stephen, you know, shut up. He's kin to whatever. I wish Stephen would shut up. <laughs> you have to be mean. I'm sorry. A little jealousy I coming out so there, I see. <laughs> it's all right. I can take it. As long as you talk about me behind my back, I'm good. I, I just do it right in front of you. Right yeah. in front of no, you. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> hey, y'all, don't forget we got the election going on over in uh, North Carolina. Murphy, Get over and cast your vote. You got to tell 730 this evening to, to take care of that. I'm going over and vote for James. Where would I vote it for James Reed at? I don't really think they're going to let you vote over there. Is Clay Logan, he's running. Is he got it? I'm going to go vote for Clay, I too. I don't think the county commissioners are up for re-election no. right now. No. no, this is a, these are city votes. The, you know the townships yep. votes. You gonna vote for? You gonna vote for? I don't live in the township either. Town. Well, now you can just mail Brandon. it in, can't you? I'm writing Brandon in and all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm right there. You go. That's a good idea, Peggy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know Brandon could run for president next time. And probably get in. Uh, they gonna get the Rock Dwayne Johnson running. I ain't oh. voting for him. The Rock. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about but that. But I don't know. I like that uh, Matthew McConaughey, but they say he's running on the Democratic ticket, yeah. what that gal said. I don't know yeah. too much about all that. I don't know about him either. All right, all right, all right. That'll be this campaign <laughs> slogan. Well, we do have some stuff happening locally. But by the way, our annual dinner is happening, or not annual dinner. We're having our annual member meeting this Thursday. We're going to be doing this as a virtual event. We're going to be giving away around $1,000. So, Go to CherokeeCountyChamber.com and register to play trivia with us on Thursday at all right, 30. All right, all right, all right, folks. Y'all go check out uh, Anthony uh, on the uh, Facebook. Man, what a great guy he is, no doubt. We appreciate him coming on and giving his uh, expert advice on that. As Mark Anthony, the stunt man. Go check him mm -hmm. out. We'll talk to y'all bright and early in the morning.